the two physicists I knew, Murray Gell-Mann and Dick Feynman, had very different arcs of their careers. And I learned from that. And like Murray discovered, invented, whatever, discovered, invented quarks back when he was a young guy. And um, then he never really figured out the next act. And he was always trying to do things that, where he felt like he had to do a very important thing because he'd done this very important thing before. If he's going to work on something else, it's got to be very important. And mm -hmm. he kept on not working. And Dick Feynman it's a on curse. the other hand, yeah. right. and, and Dick Feynman on the other hand, just worked on whatever the heck he wanted to work on. <laughs> and um, you know, his longtime assistant would sometimes say to me, you know, he's bored, he's working on hieroglyphics again. You've got to go talk to him. You know, that was for me, it's like I work on these different projects. I have no predefined expectation for which one is going to be, you know, the most important, the most, you know, long lasting, whatever else. It's just I do projects that I think are interesting. And and that's, you know, so I, the, the point is to not always think the next thing I do has to be bigger than everything I've done before.